Hey, 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 YouTube, it's your girl, and it is time for a chit chat try on. So, um, you guys gave me so many compliments about my squash tone, pukey tone, goldenrod, mustard colored um, lippy that I had on a previous video that I promised that I would do um, a collective of those tones that um, I have in my collection. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the one that I am wearing right now is from B Elegant Cosmetics. This is in the shade Butterscotch Martini. I think that I learned about this from, it was either through Dupe That or Beauty Cult um, on Instagram. And I found out about them. I ordered when they were having a sale. I want to say I already been out and had my little birthday lunch or whatever so I already ate but it it lasted <laughs> just that I wanted to freshen it up for this video now the shade that I am wearing today I am at NC40 today you guys know that my skin tone does alter um like almost monthly so yeah I'm about to NC40 today my hands are and then C45 so I definitely will swatch it on my hand for you guys so again this is from Be Elegant Cosmetics and this is the shade uh, Butterscotch Martini so here is that shade and here it is on my lips so it's really pretty um the sale that I had I didn't pay too much for these I want to say around the somewhere between eight ten or eleven dollars it's pretty reasonable um the shipping could have been a little bit quicker but it again it's an indie brand i'm sure they have stuff to do throughout the week so i definitely understand um but all in all i like what i got i did get one i think it had a scent to it so i'll see if it's in the butterscotch type of collection the other one I got from them is called Harvest. Now, the only thing that about the the packaging is, see how the, the label, it's not, yeah, it's not in the center and it's kind of off to the side. So, small little issues, but for the most part, I, I mean, I had a successful purchase. So Harvest actually reminds me of one of Kylie Cosmetics, her newer one. Here it is on my hand. Here it is on my lips. And I think this may be a dupe, although this has been around for a long time. I don't even want to say a long time. This is bef around before Kylie. So it's it's different like it doesn't make my lips I mean my teeth look any yellower so I like I definitely will be pairing this with either maybe a green eyeshadow look or a blue eyeshadow look and it it would go together so here it is swatched on my hand and here it is on my lips um the one that Kylie has, I have. So I'm going to show you what it looks like next to this one. This one is in the shade Butternut. It's a Butternut Squash. No, it's just Butternut. So we'll see. I know my lips is going to be raw by the time I finish this video, but I'm doing it for the YouTube. I'm doing it for you guys. This is what you guys asked for. Now this one is part of the lip kit so it came with a liner i am not a liners girl so oh yeah it's very very similar i probably will not be using the liner so the color is very 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 close very similar I'll swatch it on my hand so it's pretty and definitely reminds me of Thanksgiving of a butternut squash <laughs> there it is but look at it 
on my hand next to you can kind of see the slight difference in the be elegant this one's just a little bit more yellow tone this one looks like they put two dashes of beige in it so it's a little bit deeper but on the lips it does they look the same to me what do you guys think on the lips they look the same so i mean if you had be elegant or kyla i'm sure no one would know the difference so let me see if i have any more in the yellow ish tone family i'm going to do my pumpkin gingerbread tone next but i wanted to do this video first oh <laughs> it's on my lips because this is the one that you guys asked for holy crap mm. god thank you mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna take a second so how y'all doing how y'all day how your day going my day is all right y'all i went out for my little birthday lunch celebration with my son so both our birthdays you know yeah <laughs> so okay it's off hold on let me get my sponge and kind of put my foundation back where it's supposed to be and <laughs> we're going to go ahead and move on um, another one that I got from Be Elegant, it's not in the yellow tone, but I think this is the one that I thought had a scent to it. It is. It is their mocha latte. I'll probably do a separate swatch video for this one, but their mocha latte smells like chocolate. Oh, so I'm going to have to go and like revisit their website. I absolutely love scented lippies and that it is a matte one and it's okay. 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 So moving on, the next one is by give me glow their liquid lipstick in the shade nude beach now this is the one that i was wearing in the previous video and the only issue not even the only one of the issues that i have with the give me glow ones is that what you see in the bottle is not what you get on your lips so it's kind of hard when I'm doing a makeup look and the last thing that I put on is my lipstick and I'm looking at the jar and I'm holding it up saying, oh yeah, this will work. And then when I put it on, it's almost a completely different color. So it's a tad bit frustrating, but I don't care. I kind of already know, okay, that this look goes with this one. Don't do too orangey of a whatever, you know. You know but i do struggle with pairing up the right lippy i know the lips are supposed to match with the blush and yeah so whatever <laughs> okay it's dry the other issue that i have with this is that not all of their liquid lipsticks they have two different types there's a vivid paint and a liquid lipstick not all of the liquid lipsticks dry down on me to a completely matte finish so um this one's one that dries down to a matte finish so there's no problem. So here is the lippy from the previous video. This is the lippy that started it all with all the questions. Now, the other issue is that a lot of them are limited edition. However, if you ask her nice enough, she'll re-release them. So if you see one of my video or anyone's video and it's not on their website, reach out to the owner. She is an indie brand. Um, company she'll make you a batch <laughs> she's super nice i think her name is brandy but she's like instagram famous but she's really really attentive when it comes to um customer service she responds on instagram and things like that okay the next one can kind of go in the yellow one this is leather from jd glow cosmetics their packaging is very different i don't really like this little thing right here i feel like i'm gonna snap it off or it's gonna get snapped off in my purse or something so i don't know okay 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 i haven't tried this one yet but okay i like it so again this is jd glow in the shade leather okay Ooh. okay 
very, very similar to the other shades that I have um, picked out. So this last one is the JD Glow one. And then here it is on my lips. Very squash, butternut-esque. Pretty. Very pretty. Um, I think I may have, might have three more. Ugh, I don't, they, they getting borderline pumpkin. So, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Okay. So, the next one comes from Be Elegant. Dang it, it is kind of orangey. I'm gonna do it just in case and we can we gonna do it just in case so we're gonna see how this sets down mm-hmm okay it's going to pumpkin for me for this video so I'm gonna reserve this one and any shade deeper than this to the next video but I will swatch it for you guys because Ooh, it's borderline. It's definitely borderline. So there it is right here. Definitely going towards the pumpkin harvest festival type of lipstick. So I'm going to save that one so you might see this one in another video. And okay, I have one, possibly one more. It's borderline as well. but we gonna give it a whirl and it's this one this one is also from jd jd glow cosmetics and it's called that's bay so hmm all right let's give it give it oh that's pretty i ain't even that bright person it is a very bright vivid yellow orange like it's like a fresh picked pumpkin. That's what it is. This one is just a little bit on the streakier side. So gonna have to put more than one coat. It's pretty. Woo, it's bright. Ooh, that's bright. It's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch it one okay i just gotta give it some dry time for it to settle down and even out and here is the very last one in the shade that's bay so all of these colors are my mustard e fall golden rod butternut puke kind of shades that um i enjoy i enjoy just being a little bit different than everyone else in their neutrals and the reds and and the pumpkins as we go into fall so this kind of surprises you guys so uh, i do have a plethora of pumpkin tone shades that i will hold off for you guys for another video so this is the requested video that you guys asked for and so far i like my collection i might want one or two more but for the most part i really really like these so let me jazz this one up i'm gonna take the kylie one because it's not my brightest one just gonna put this in the center and give me some dimension. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, pretty bold. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later.